when's a great time to have my bike tuned up? Is it rideable now? Or can I wait till maybe slower in the season? Let's answer these questions coming up after this. Welcome to I Know A Guy Bicycles. Welcome to I Know A Guy Bicycles. Hanging out with the guy. Hi, I'm Justin the guy. Obviously, I'm a garage shop. I'm taking scary how to use bikes one bike at a time. If you like these videos, please like and subscribe. Welcome to I Know A Guy Bicycles. Hanging out with the guy. Hi, I'm Justin the guy. Today we're going to talk about tune-ups. When do I need it? And when's the best time to have it done? It's kind of from a service manager perspective and working shops in the last 30 years, the time to have your t bikes tuned up is honestly when they need to be tuned up. What's the top three things that you need to look for or what's kind of questionable for having a bike tuned up? Well, number one is shifting. Is it shifting smoothly? Is it skipping gears? Is it making a lot of noise? All those things. There's quite a different things that could be done to a drivetrain to make it perform better and be more efficient and have a better experience to your ride. The second thing is your wheels. Are they true? Are they hitting the brakes back and forth? You know, are you continually getting flats and you can't figure out how you're getting them fixed? Wheels is a big thing to address. And, and also, you know, knowing that they're true and tensioned and all that will, you know, the lengthen the life of those. And number three, the big safety thing is brakes. Is your braking efficient? Um, is it equal when you apply both brake levers? Is it uh, safe when you're going down that hill really fast? Do you feel secure? So looking at those top three things, flat fixed wheels and true, um, which also sometimes is your braking surface if, if you have a rim brake and shifting is all those things that could make or break your enjoyment of your ride. Any of those three things that really stick out, take it to the bike shop. Have them take a look at it. If you don't feel confident in working on yourself, which is fine, or if you want to tinker on it and try it out and get all confused, then take it to the bike shop. You can do that too, no worries. But time to do it is when you hit those three points. The time of year is usually when your local bike shop's in the off season. And we're, I'm in Colorado, and here we're very seasonal. So we have winter sports and so forth, and we have summer. And a lot of the bike shops, they don't have a carryover like my parents' Parker Bikes days. We did skis and snowboards in the winter, so we were pretty busy year-round. And what really crushed us is in February and March, when people are bringing their bikes out on nice days, but yet the ski season hasn't ended yet. So that's something you want to think about too, if you can take it to that local shop that does that. That particular window for them, the slowest time, January. Um, so after the holiday rush and sales and all that, rig and roll and travel and stress and people taking time off, everybody's kind of back to work by the second week, the third week of January. That's the time to take your bike in to have it tuned. Number one, you're getting the best service possible at that time. Reason being, those mechanics that are year round are actually still there. They're working on their bike and working on bikes and they need something to do. So, you know, those are the higher level mechanics that you want working on your bike. And granted, when you go to a lot of shops to take your bike in and you have a service rider, they do this, they do the list and all that. You can ask them who's going to be working on my bike or what mechanics do you have still on staff this time of year. It's, it's not inappropriate to ask those things uh, because it's it's your it's basically your bike, your baby, you're, you're on it, your experience. And you find a particular mechanic that worked on your bike last time that was really good. It's kind of like going to the hairstylist. You like that one particular hairstylist to do your hair. Well, yeah, I haven't done mine in a while, but back in the day when I had short hair, I just would go to that one. Even though it was a chain, I still would go to that one individual that cut my hair. Uh, same thing for bikes. Um, and there's no problem in asking like, hey, can you have Jimmy work on my bike? That'd be great because I he did a great job last time and I he's probably remembers or familiar because bike mechanics we do, even though we have a short attention span, we do remember the stuff we work on, um, especially if they're problematic. And if they're able to have a major success of fixing something major, man, yeah, we, we know that bike well. But, you know, if you bring that bike to that bike shop that you're comfortable with, you build up that rapport, 
hit them up in January, get that mechanic to work on it. The reason why I'm not bringing up price up front is really, you know, you get what you pay for. Bottom line, if you go to a shop that just does $20 tune-ups, which nobody does, but if they did, you're getting a, a $10 tune-up. They're not going to look at your bike, really. They're going to wipe it off, run through the gears, throw some lube on it. Nothing more than you do yourself at home and charge you that 25 bucks and try to upsell you on a whole bunch of stuff on top of that. That's a, that is a particular business model that is still being practiced today for that. But when you're looking for with a better rapport with a bike shop and you're avid rider or semi-avid rider or even a seasonal rider and you want to have that done, go to the bike shop. If their prices are, if you can still pocket the price, it still warrant the cost. And the prices, there's a whole spectrum of prices out there for tune-ups. Each bike shop has their own packages and some include or don't include upsell services. I even worked in the shop once where when you're even doing a drivetrain clean, they still charge for the chain to be installed like a new chain. So it's just one of those things where, you know, what it comes down to the day is you want that good mechanic work on your bike period. Whatever the cost is, that's going to weigh, whatever you save, it's going to give you added frustration during your season of riding. Let's put it that way. Will you rather spend an extra five or 10, 20 bucks to make sure you don't have that issue uh, later on? Yeah. You know, I'm a very frugal individual when it comes to a lot of different things, but when it comes to service, you want to spend a little bit more because you get better quality out of it. And in the long run, it's less stress. And cycling is supposed to be something that doesn't give you stress. It's supposed to take away that stress. So anywho, tune-ups, you got those three things to look for. Drivetrain, wheels, brakes. If any of those are kind of funky, it's that time of year. Annually, and most people would say about once a year, you should have your bike tuned up. Um, if you have any issues, have those individually addressed, kind of like your doctor's visit kind of deal um, on an individual basis, like urgent care versus an annual visit. Um, same, same approach there. And when you look at those uh, particular uh, mechanics or the shop or your vetting, ask those questions, the good questions, and try to, you know, get the best, the best outcome possible. And, you know, when it comes to price, a lot of shops in January do discount their prices pretty significantly for those tune-ups. Um, so keep that in mind. That's This is probably the better time to do it. Not, you know, you're getting the better price, but actually you're getting the better mechanic working on that bike too, which is the most important part of this whole segment. So anyhow, tune-ups. When to have them, why, when you should have them done, when you have them done during the year. If it's in mid-season, it's mid-season. Have a backup bike because you're going to be without your bike for a week or two. Let's say take appointments, then you can work out that situation. Anyway, if you like videos like this, please subscribe and like. Thank you for spending time with me from the garage. Have a wonderful day.